Hello, Mary Meet. So, something a little bit different and a little bit geeky. It seems that some people like my dice videos, so I thought I would make one. My husband came home and gave me this set of dice from um, Ultra Pro. And I thought I would review it. He knows me very well. He knows that I would rather have some fancy dice than a bouquet of flowers. Have a nice husband. So yes, this is uh, Ultra Pro Gravity Dice. Uh, and this is the 2D6 set. There are also a 5D6 set, if I don't remember it completely wrong. Uh, and yeah, we can start by reading what's on the back. Gravity Dice by Ultra Pro. A perfectly balanced, hand-machined precision dice made with high-quality, aircraft-grade aluminium. Each dice has a perfect center of gravity and uh, comfort edges for a more randomized roll. Both dice and case are hardened to satisfy the same requirements as that of commercial aer aerospace and automobiles applications, and are designed to enhance your gaming experience. Enjoy! Thank you, I will. So yeah, uh, they come in this nice little box. And inside of that box, you have the case for the dice because it's fancy. So the case are aluminium as well. Looks like this. And it is it is hard metal. They come in a few different colors. Uh, this is the this is a brownish black one. Uh, I think it's the gunmetal one. I'm not completely sure what all of the colors are named. Um, now you can get these on Amazon and in some games main stores. Basically, uh, as you can see, the case have magnets and it keeps the dice very secure. Uh, I can shake it without any problems. I don't think this will come apart on you if you just chuck this in your dice bag. I don't think there should be a problem. The dice, are, uh, the case are pretty thick and yeah, it just looks nice and classy. Um, it's been the design on the top are printed on and that is the only uh, one thing I would hesitate with throwing it in your dice bag is that I think there's a chance that what the design on top of the case might wear off. So let's have a look at the dice themselves. They look like this. So in the this that has two dice. You get one that has filled in pips and one that has open pips because there are some games where you need to know you need the two d sixes of that looks a little bit different. In the um, um, boxes that has five, you have four of the filled in one and one of these that are not filled. Uh, they feel pretty good to uh, shake in your hand, and I'm. So that sound is lovely for you. Uh, a lot of metal dice are so heavy, they are very, really, really difficult to roll. This doesn't feel like that at all. They feel just as natural as plastic or wooden dice. Um, and they roll very well. Let me see if I can show that. Have a book here. Uh, they roll very well, so they roll just as well as dice, and they're not heavy at all. They have a very nice weight to them. They're not so light that you feel that that they basically there's nothing there, but they're not so heavy that there should be a problem. Um, so yeah, and the edges are very nice. And what did the box call it? Uh, comfort. They are very nice and comfort indeed. 
So these are very good, comfortable dice to roll, and they roll quite randomly. Um, now, the one filled in dice here is pretty good. It's a pretty dice. I love this dark, dark brown, almost black color. And the pips are beautifully printed on there. This, however, unfortunately, is not the case for Mr. Unfilled. The five looks okay. Six has a little bit of an issue, as you can see, on that there. It's not completely filled in. Uh, this one has a little bit of a printing issue as well. This one has a lot of printing issues. Basically, these that are not filled in have printing issues. Uh, there are openings, there are miscolorations in the white, and that just won't do with dice as expensive as these. Um, this set here costs uh, 19 bucks. To, when you get two dice for $19, you expect those dice to be pretty damn perfect. That's almost 10 bucks a dice. And yeah, this this one too, these kind of printing errors is not acceptable for a product this expensive. Sorry. Uh, this one however is very good. Now I haven't seen any shipping of the paint, uh, but I have read some reviews online that says that um, uh, they have a problem that when they roll these dice together, they scrape on one another and scrape off the printing. And I have no problem believing that since the printing is an issue. Now, unlike the case, where you can sort of feel the printing against, you can sort of feel that the printing is sort of exposed. This one you can't feel. It's very, very nice and smooth. So it, the dice itself might not have as much of an issue, but I would be aware that they could scrape the paint off one another. Uh, if you roll them one-on-one, -on -one, for example, however, it shouldn't be a problem. If, if you roll them with plastic dice, I doubt I will damage these. Um, yeah, uh, everything but the printing on these that has unfilled pips are excellent. There's also something a little bit odd. Uh, the sides are not the same. So here we have one. And then you then fold that over. You should expect then you have three. You should expect three there. Now we have two. So they're not the same. On all, so I that that really matters. But it's a bit odd. So yeah, the printing on these products are not good enough. Uh, absolutely not good enough at all. Um, however, the um, uh, rest of the product, the weight of the dice, the way they roll, and uh, the feel of the cage uh, that you have them in, all of that is excellent. And they do look very nice, and unlike most metal dice, they are very functional and roll very nicely. I can't advise you to get these, not at that price with those kind of printing errors. If you can find it discounted, absolutely grab a pair of these. Or if you want some metal dice that feels good to use, this might be uh, something that you want, because they're not very heavy. But quality-wise, for that price, it's not worth it. But yeah, other than that, they roll very nice. Uh, the carrying cage is very, very nice, and the dice do look beautiful. So yeah, that are my review of the Ultra Pro Gravity dice. Very nice, but do get some better uh, printing on these. And do keep in mind, guys, these are going to be rolled very often together. So you have a uh, metal die and a metal die being rolled in the same hand, they need to be scratch resistant. So yeah, I would give these uh, 6 out of 10. If they had not had the printing errors, they would get 9 out of 10. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Have a great day, and blessed be.